Welcome to SPO workshop number 120, Small Purchases Method of Procurement, prepared by the State Procurement Office. The statute that governs small purchases is HRS 103D-305 and Hawaii Administrative Rules, Chapter 3122, Subchapter 8. Required Training In addition to obtaining written procurement delegation, you are required to attend workshops SPO 120 and SPO 127. If you are conducting a small purchase on HIPRO, you are also required to attend workshop SPO 301. If you are procuring for construction, you are also required to attend workshops SPO 130 and SPO 185. What are small purchases? Small purchases method of procurement may be used for purchases less than $100,000 for goods or services, or less than $250,000 for construction. This method is utilized for simple acquisitions where clear, cut, minimum specifications and qualifications are known, and award is based on the lowest price, responsive, responsible offer. If not practicable, award shall be made to the offer whose quotation provides the best value to the state. Small Purchases General Rules When conducting small purchases method of procurement, here is a list of general rules to follow. Like the other methods of procurement, the solicitation should allow for adequate and reasonable competition. Unlike other methods, a public notice and bid opening are not required. Purchases shall not be parceled by dividing the purchase of same, like, or related items of goods, services, or construction into several purchases of competitive bidding requirements. Purchases shall be within the dollar limits of the small purchases method of procurement as described in the prior slide. Professional services less than $100,000. When procuring for a professional service, with the exception of engineers, architects, landscape architects, and surveyors, which are professionals licensed under Chapter 464, small purchases method of procurement may be utilized provided the contract dollar amount is less than $100,000 in a 12-month period. Electronic Procurement Purchases $25,000 to less than $250,000 shall be conducted on an electronic procurement system. The electronic procurement system shall include, at a minimum, the functionality of notifying registered vendors of the procurement opportunity and the electronic receipt of offers. The Chief Procurement Officer may determine what goods, services, or construction less than $25,000 will be made through an electronic procurement system. Small purchase thresholds and the numbers of quotes. For all departments other than executive branch departments, expenditures with an estimated total cost that are less than $5,000 shall be conducted pursuant to procedures established by its chief procurement officer. For purchases $5,000 to less than $15,000, no less than three quotes shall be solicited. For purchases $15,000 to less than $25,000, no less than three quotes shall be obtained. For purchases of goods and services $25,000 to less than $100,000, procurement shall be conducted on an electronic procurement system. And for construction purchases, $25,000 to less than $250,000. Procurement shall be conducted on an electronic procurement system. For executive branch departments, the CPO has imposed the following procedures. Purchases of goods and services, $15,000 to less than $100,000, shall be conducted on HIPRO. And for construction purchases, $15,000 to $250,000, shall be conducted on HIPRO. For procurements less than 
adequate and reasonable competition is recommended. What if non-electronic procurement? When an electronic procurement system is not available, you may not utilize the small purchases method of procurement for purchases $25,000 or higher. However, you may utilize competitive sealed bidding, competitive sealed proposals, or professional services as applicable. Procurement option to small purchases method of procurement. Prior to conducting small purchases procurement, agencies may want to consider utilizing an SPO price or vendor list contract. These contracts have been competed and awarded and are listed on the SPO website. In order to utilize these contracts, agencies are required to attend SPO workshop number 190. Parceling. What do we mean by parceling? When you break up a procurement to stay within the small purchases dollar threshold to use fiscal funds, this is considered parceling. For example, if you purchase $63,000 worth of desks in July, then purchase another $58,000 worth of desks six months later, that is considered parceling because you need to consider the total dollar purchase in a 12-month period. In this case, the total is $111,000, which is over the small purchases threshold for goods and services. The proper method should have been to conduct competitive sealed bidding. However, if you know that in a 36-month period that the total purchase will be less than $100,000 for janitorial services, the small purchases method of procurement may be utilized. When conducting a 12-month period, fiscal year does not matter. How to avoid parceling. Procurement should be conducted to allow for competition. Things to consider in your acquisition planning stage for consolidation are whether you can group same or similar products or services, knowing who the competition is in the marketplace, and what the value or price of goods, services, or construction is. Getting started, developing your solicitation. Questions to ask yourself before you issue your request for quotes are, what do you want to purchase? Estimated total dollar purchase, specifications, quantities, unit of measure, contract price, and delivery needs. Also, are there any other special administrative requirements in general or specific to the goods services, or construction. What do you want to purchase? As mentioned earlier, you should group same, like, or similar items in one solicitation. For example, if you need to purchase fire extinguishers and maintenance for existing extinguishers, you could create one solicitation for both. You may also want to consolidate these purchases for all your buildings. Thus, leveraging the purchase to take advantage of volume discounts. When creating the request for quotes, you may create two line items, one for the fire extinguishers and one for the maintenance. The award does not need to be made to one vendor for both line items. What is the total dollar purchase? Knowing your total dollar purchase in a 12-month period will help you decide how to continue your procurement. You may decide to solicit for quotes on an electronic procurement system, even though you are not required to. By utilizing the e-procurement system, all vendors registered in the system will have the opportunity to respond, creating a more competitive environment. Additionally, even though the total dollar purchase is within the small purchases threshold in a 12-month period, you may decide you want to conduct competitive sealed bidding Secure a contract that includes multiple extension periods. Specification. It is recommended to purchase standard commercial products and not write specifications for a custom designed product. This will create non restricted specifications that allow for more competition.
Guidelines for Developing Specifications. You should write clear, concise, consistent specifications. You need to identify your product or service minimum requirements. Don't call for a brand name or sole source. If you plan to allow for substitution, you need to describe the method you will use to evaluate the product. Award must be made to the lowest responsive, responsible offer. Types of specification. Design specification means the dimensional and other physical requirements of the item being purchased. Design specification may explain how a product is to be fabricated or constructed. For example, if you needed a conference table, you would describe the size, shape, the type of material used to construct the table. Performance specification means the functional or performance requirements of an item, what a product does, and how well it performs. For example, if you need to purchase a copier, you would describe what capabilities the copier should include. How many copies per minute are required? Does the copier need to produce color copies or just black and white? Does the copier need to have scanning capability? Brand name or equal means a specification which uses one or more manufacturer's name or catalog number to describe the standard of quality, performance, and other characteristics needed to meet the requirement. For example, if you are purchasing a pickup truck, you could name Ford 150 or equal and list minimum specification. If an offer wanted to bid another brand, they could as long as it met the minimum specification. Qualified Products List, QPL, means an approved list of goods, services, or construction items described by model or catalog numbers, which, prior to, competitive, prior to competitive solicitation, the state has determined will meet the application specification requirement. For example, the notice will name a specific brand that the agency has determined that meets the minimum requirements or a cleaning solution. The notice would call out Clorox as the brand name and qualified product or QPL. If an offeror has a product that can meet the minimum specification by offering another brand name product, they would do so before the due date of the bid submittal. The agency would review the alternate product, and if the product meets the required specification, the agency would then add that product to the list of pre qualified or pre approved products through an addendum. Therefore, the brand name would consist of Clorox and Zip. The difference between brand name or equal and QPL is when the product is reviewed. In brand name or equal, it is done after prices are received. In QPL, the product is reviewed prior to receiving prices. Other parts of an RFQ. In a request for quotes, as the buyer, you would include the quantity of what you are purchasing. You would pick the unit of measure based on commodity. For example, if you are buying chairs, the unit of measure would be each. If you are buying landscaping services, the unit of measure would be job. The scope of work would describe what would be included as part of the job. The contract period is the term of the contract. Will this contract include more than one 12-month period? As long as the total is less than the small purchases threshold, this is allowable. Delivery is the date the goods are to be received and the location. Minimum qualifications would list the minimum requirement of the awarded contractor. For example, if you want to hire a licensed electrician, the notice would state the offer needs to hold a C-13 or C-15 contractor's license, and if there are any other type of requirements, such as the need for a bid, performance, or payment bond, this information will be included in the request for quotes. Construction Procurement Bond Requirements When procuring for construction, utilizing the small purchases method of procurement and the contract amount will exceed $50,000, a 
a performance and payment bond is required. When creating your request for quote, this information must be included to meet this requirement pursuant to HRS 103D305. Keep in mind that the dollar threshold for small purchases construction purchases cannot exceed $250,000. During the solicitation period, you are allowed to respond to questions from interested offerers. However, it is advised that you share the same information to all vendors for fairness and transparency. If you are making changes to the solicitation, an addendum shall be issued. This protects you and the vendor by documenting the expectation of both parties. Basis of award. Award shall be made to the lowest responsive responsible offer for small purchases. If not practicable, award shall be made to the offer whose quotation provides best value to the state. Practicable means what may be accomplished or put into practical application. What is best value? Best value is defined as the most advantageous offer determined by evaluating and comparing all relevant criteria in addition to price so that the offer meeting the overall combination that best serves the state is selected. These criteria may include, in addition to others, the total cost of ownership, performance history of the vendor, quality of goods, services, or construction, delivery, and the proposed technical performance. In most situations, award is made to the lowest quote based on meeting the minimum requirement. However, when all vendors meet the minimum requirement, but one of the vendors is able to deliver a product sooner than the called for delivery date, this may be considered best value if the need is critical to the operation. Another example of best value would be if you required warranty on the product or work. All things being equal, one vendor offered a lifetime warranty versus the other offering only a one-year warranty. Making the award. If an agency chooses to execute a formal contract, use of AG-002 for small purchases contract may be used. However, a formal contract is not required. For executive departments, prior to making an award, if a vendor is registered in HCE, agencies are required to verify compliance in HCE and shall not require vendors to submit paper certificates. However, if the vendor is not registered, paper compliances are acceptable. Ultimately, purchasing agencies should be dealing with comp compliant vendors. Procurement awarded to HIPRO requires a printout of the award summary report to be placed in the procurement file. For executive departments, small purchases awards for $2,500 and above shall be posted on the awards reporting system within seven days of the notice of award. For executive branch agencies, the following are instructions for executive branch agencies. For small purchases under $5,000, adequate and reasonable competition is recommended. The use of Form SCO10 and Form SCO10A are optional. For purchases $5,000 to less than $15,000, a minimum of three quotes may be solicited by phone, fax, or email. Use of Form 10 is required, and Form SCO10A is optional. For small purchases $15,000 to less than $100,000 for goods and services, and for construction $15,000 to less than $215,000, procurement is required to be conducted on the Hawaii e-procurement system, HIPRO. A copy of the award summary report shall be placed in the procurement file. Adequate competition. If the small purchases procurement requires a minimum of three quotes, a bidder 
submitting no bid or a no response, no reply, does not qualify as a quote. Procuring personnel should consider requesting for more than three quotes to ensure that the minimum three quotes are received. Conducting procurement through an electronic system does not guarantee adequate competition. It is the buyer's responsibility to ensure that there are vendors in the pool for the commodity or service being procured, that specifications are clear and not restrictive, and that potential offers have enough time to submit a quote. Award to other than lowest quote. Awards based on best value require an explanation why the vendor selected was not the lowest responsive responsible bidder. For non-e-procurement small purchases, complete Part D on Form SDO 10. For procurements conducted on HIPRO, complete the competition, comments field, or as available in any other e-procurement system. Copies of the justification shall be placed in the procurement file. What if quotes not received, non-electronic? If the small purchases procurement requires a minimum of three quotes, justification for the inability to obtain three quotes shall be provided and documented. Procuring personnel must exhaust all opportunities before this step. In some instances, it may be more appropriate to request additional quotes. For example, you requested quotes from four vendors for CPU slings. You received two quotes, one via fax and the other by phone. Another vendor submitted a no bid, and the fourth you received no response. You still do not have three quotes. Knowing that there is quite a bit of competition for this product, the buyer is responsible to obtain the third quote by requesting a quote from yet another vendor or following up with the vendor that did not reply. If, after exhausting all opportunities, and you still cannot obtain three quotes, this information shall be documented in Part C of Form SCO 10 and placed in the procurement file. When a procurement is conducted through an electronic procurement system, competition is extended to all those registered for the particular commodity code. However, in a situation where no responses are received, before a determination can be made that it is not practicable or advantageous to resolicit, the purchasing personnel has the responsibility to consider the following. Were the specifications complete and clear? What is the reason a new solicitation cannot be put out? Why is there not enough time? Was the appropriate commodity code used? Did the procurement reach the vendors in the appropriate vendor pool? If it is determined that an alternative procurement method will be used, such as direct negotiation, a written explanation of the procedures shall be placed in the procurement file. What if quotes are over small purchases threshold? If you conduct a small purchases procurement for 200 shares and all quotes exceed $100,000, there are two options to consider. The first option is to reduce the quantity of shares to stay within the small purchases threshold of less than $100,000. However, you cannot do another procurement for more shares within a 12-month period. Your second option is to conduct a new source selection as a competitive steel bidding pursuant to HRS 103D 302. If you conduct small purchases procurement for janitorial services and all three quotes exceed the small purchases threshold, you may reduce the scope of work. However, again, you cannot resolicit for the services that were removed from the scope of work within a 12-month period. Protest. A protester means any actual or prospective bidder, offer, or contractor who is aggrieved in connection with the solicitation 
or the award of a contract, and who files a protest. Protest shall be submitted in writing by the protester to the procurement officer within five working days of knowledge giving rise to the protest. When a protest is filed, no further action shall be taken on the procurement until the procurement is resolved. Documenting the award. Purchases made by the executive branch shall be, shall be documented on Form SPO 10 for purchases $5,000 to less than $15,000. For purchases $2,500 or more made by executive branch shall be posted on the SPO awards reporting system within seven calendar days from issuance of award. It doesn't just stop at the award. After the award is made, it is important that someone manage the contract, which will ensure that the state receives the goods, services, or construction that meet the required specification and or scope of work at the price quoted. Normally, the responsible person is the contract administrator. Public inspection. For transparency purposes, all documents relating to the solicitation that are not marked confidential are considered public information and therefore may be released to anyone requesting it through the Office of Information Practices process. References. Here are the references pertaining to small purchases method of procurement that are available on our website. This completes STO Workshop 120. To receive credit for attending this workshop, you must complete the training self-certification form, which will pop up momentarily. You will also be requested to fill out a short survey by clicking on a link. We appreciate your feedback. Thank you for attending.